Welcome to our first official Minimate Central video review. Usually I was posting these things to YouTube, but now we got a central repository for video reviews. We are going to look at Alice. She was a summer Comic Con exclusive from the new video game Alice the Madness Returns. She comes singly packed. We got some graphics from the game on the box. Some are individually numbered. We also sell some unnumbered ones in the store. So let's take a look at the figure. There we go. She is one heck of a mini mate. The details on her are very, very crisp, very clear. No paint mistakes to be found. If you can see under the line of her hair, she's got some bangs as part of her face tample. And it just makes it a little bit closer to the game. She's got some blood splattered here on her dress. Lots of little details, the stitching around the dress, the laces on her boots. On the back, she's got a bow with a skull on it. More lacing down her back. Sometimes we find with newer mini mates, they don't have a back tampo. It was kind of left out of the budget. It's nice to see her get a lot of detail on her back. The paint goes all around the sides for the ribbon around her waist. She's got kind of a matte finish to her. She's not glossy at all, and while other mini mates that are all painted from head to toe don't have that same glossy luster, her seems to be even more matte than usual. And it's a good look for her. The knife does not come with her. She comes with no accessories, but she needs a knife. Man, she has a knife the whole game. I gave her that one from Punisher. You can find that same knife with Bullseye or Bucky Cap, Union Jack, or Craven. So I think it's pretty necessary to gear her up a little bit. Uh, I think the knife really should have come with her. Other than that, she's a perfect mini-mate, so I say she's a 9 out of 10. Don't miss out on this one.